The world's most dangerous criminals are those who have committed terrifying crimes in their lives. There are so many criminals who have committed crimes taking the lives of innocents. Most of them are on Europe's wanted list. So in this video, we are going to talk about the top 7 biggest criminals of Europe. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number 7. Berdy Deja Berdy Deja, otherwise known as Jackal, is listed as one of the most wanted persons on Europol's list. Deja is accused of conducting an illegal drug trade of cocaine and marijuana with the participation of other persons since 2016. Jackal acted as the leader of the gang. To transport the drugs, he used vehicles specially prepared for this purpose. The German authorities declared him wanted and since 2018 Deja is on the run. He is suspected of possible gang-type narcotics trafficking. Investigators assume that he may be abroad in Belgium, the Netherlands, Italy, or Albania. Number 6. Abdullah Koder Abdullah Koder is suspected of having taken part in a particularly violent homejacking in Gondorange. The authorities consider him dangerous. At around midday on 17 December 2017, a woman and her minor niece were attacked in her house by two offenders. The victims were threatened with knives, several pieces of jewelry and a small sum of money were stolen. The perpetrators also destroyed the house phone so that they could not call the police. On 2 December 2019, a European arrest warrant and an international arrest warrant were issued against Abdullah Koder. Number 5. Alexander Gustafsson Unlike UFK fighter Alexander Gustafsson, his criminal namesake is not an individual the Swedes can be proud of. The international criminal, who has the same name as the former UFK kettle challenger, is suspected to be the man behind the Swedish narcotics marketplace Flugsvamp 2.0. According to a report on the November 26 edition of Svenska Morgonbladet, the report is in Swedish. Gustafsson's darknet site Flugsvamp 2.0 has facilitated drug trades worth $43 million approx in the last three years. Per the report, the mode of payment on the illicit website has been identified as Bitcoin. Although Alexander Gustafsson managed to flee the country during the final days of the trial, the internationally wanted criminal has been sentenced in absentia to 8 to 11 years in prison. As per a report by Forbes, more than 450 crypto wallet addresses linked to the Darknet site have been identified by Swedish authorities. The Swedish police reportedly had to seek assistance from more than 25 countries and 14 service providers to shut down the black market narcotics platform. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Number 4. Valen Flammer and Fatma Azemi Valen Azemi has been wanted since 2007 for shooting and killing the owner of a prod club in front of the venue, for which he was sentenced in absentia to 10 years. On the night of December 11, 2013, in Prague's Old Town, four men jumped out of a Porsche Cayenne on Caprova Street and attacked the security guards of the Coco Cafe Cocktail Bar. According to police, the assailants included Flammer Azemi, who charged the guards brandishing a retractable baton and a knife. His older brother, Fatmer Azemi, threatened the bouncers with what turned out to be an air gun. One witness testified that Flammer Azemi hit one of the bouncers, 39-year-old Czech boxer Petr Horacek, so hard with his baton that he damaged his skull. Azemi then shoved Horacek inside the bar where he stabbed him in the chest repeatedly with a six-inch blade. Horacek suffered internal bleeding and a collapsed lung. The two Albanian brothers are yet to be caught. The third suspect has been identified as Luj Didaj, reportedly a major figure in the Germany-Kosovo underworld. The fourth suspect, an underage male called Jetan A, was detained, police spokesperson Jan Danek told Novinki. Choose. According to Shek Mia, Fatma Azami had previously been convicted of shooting and killing a young Albanian runner during a demonstration for peace in Kosovo in 1999. Number 3. Abdel La Belghazi Almer. In April 2015, Almar went with one young girl to the Hippodrome. Once there, he stopped the vehicle and arranged the interior of the car to facilitate the purpose of having sexual intercourse. The defendant asked the girl to get in the back seats with him and told her that he wanted to have a threesome with another girl and that she had to do it because she was his slave and he was her master, to which she refused. He then got on top of the victim, pulled her hair and punched her thigh, squeezing her breasts hard while she struggled, cried and begged to leave her until he squeezed her neck tightly. The victim suffered several bodily injuries on her face, breasts, and genitals, as well as post-traumatic stress disorder related to the events described. Number 2. Abdella El Hajj Sadiq El Menbri 
Abdella El Hajj Sadiq El Mendri, 38 years old, is wanted on account of being the alleged leader of an international organization dedicated to the trafficking of large amounts of illegal drugs and money laundering, as well as possession of firearms. He is currently considered to be a head of the biggest hashish trafficking organization in Spain, working in the Campo de Gibraltar area, specializing in introducing hashish from North Morocco to Spain, principally by using strong, high-speed vessels. Once they reached the ground, they normally loaded the drug into stolen vehicles and transported it to safe locations to hide it until it was sold. The fugitive has a strong network of collaborators who directly execute the illegal activities, as well as a huge number of contact persons and subordinates who carry out all operations within the chain of elaboration and distribution of the drug. From the moment it leaves the place of production until it is transported to any point in Europe. This individual has plenty of funds mainly from his illegal activities and counts on an extensive network of personal and family links that facilitate his hiding both in Spain and other countries. Number 1. Joel Sudrin This drug trafficker has been named by the French police as his most wanted fugitive as part of Europol's traditional most wanted campaign. His name probably doesn't ring a bell. Originally from Guadeloupe, this 42-year-old Frenchman is an international drug trafficker of very high level, summarizes an official of the BRF, National Brigade of the Search for Fugitives, a service of the judicial police launched in his kits since September 2018. Sentenced to six years in prison in 2004, he is also suspected of being involved in a vast trafficking of cocaine importation into France from the West Indies. The police have had it in their sights since 2011. At the time, customs discovered a container arrived in Le Havre with 230 kilos of white powder shipped from Guadeloupe. During a search, they get their hands on 278 kilos of additional cocaine and a little over 280,000 euros in cash. The organizer of this traffic is identified. Investigators suspect Joel Sudron of having orchestrated some 30 cocaine shipments between 2005 and 2011. He is extremely mobile, sums up a birth police officer. He sails extensively between the French Antilles, the British Antilles, French-speaking Africa, and Europe using various identities. He was finally arrested in February 2016 while he was in Bamako, Mali. Handed over to the French authorities, he was then imprisoned to serve a six-year prison sentence pronounced in 2004 by the court of Cretil, Val de Martin, which tried him in another drug trafficking case. In September 2018, when an investigating judge was preparing to indict him in the cocaine case seized in Le Havre, he was granted leave. Probably fearing being heavily condemned once again, he did not return to Rao prison. Since then, he has been actively sought by the judicial police. It is difficult to locate, underlines this police officer of the birth. He has a rather atypical profile. He is very discreet, unlike other traffickers of the same caliber, and he does not seek to be ostentatious or to stage his domination over trafficking. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment with your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.